Another laddering system that only needs seven units per shooter. Welcome to my new viewers, to my subscribers, welcome back. My name is Mike. This is my channel where I look at, review, and try different crap strategies. Thanks for joining. This is a basic strategy where you start off by letting the point get established. And once the point is marked, you put one unit bet in the come line. In this example, one unit is equal to $10. When the roll comes out, it's a four. The $10 come bet moves to the four. You then put a two unit bet in the come line for the next roll. The strategy always has one more unit in the come line than you have working in your box numbers. So for this example, you have one unit, which is $10 on the four. One additional unit would be two units or $20 would go into the come line for the next roll. The next roll was a 10. So your $20 come bet moves to the 10. You now have $30 working. So your next come bet needs to be one additional unit or $40 in the come for the next roll. The reason we want one additional bet size in the come is if a seven comes out. In this example, the seven, you would lose the bets on the four and the 10, which are $30, but you would win $40 on your come bet for a net $10 profit. For this basic strategy, you want to maintain three box number bets at all times, only putting bets in the come line to reestablish box numbers that either were hit and brought down or seven out and they were removed. This is the basic strategy. We'll roll this out and see how it works. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and try to roll out the come bet with the ladder strategy. We're gonna go ahead and use a $500 bank roll on the bubble craps with the crapsy simulator. So hopefully I can remember how this works. We're gonna wait for a point. And that's not a point, so we're going to roll again. And it's another three. Let's go ahead and get a box number. Okay, there's a four. So the puck will move to the four. I will now highlight the red chip and I will put one unit which is $10 in the come. And there's a 10. So this come bet moves to the 10 and that is one unit. I will now put two units in the come, which is $20. And there's an 11. So the 7 and 11 get paid on the come, just like the pass line. 2, 3, 12, lose. So that's a $20 win. Let's go ahead and roll. There's a seven. We lose the come bet on the 10, but we win $20 on the come. Puck comes off, we net a $10 win. So let's go ahead and establish the next point. And that's a two. So shooter two, first roll is a two, doesn't help us. Let's go ahead and shoot again. And there's a three, that doesn't help us either. Okay, there's an eight. So the puck will move to the eight. We will put one unit in the come, which is $10. And there's a four. This come bet moves to the four. We now put two units or $20 in the come. And the reason is if a seven would roll, we would lose our $10 on the four, but we would win $20 in the come and we would net a, a $10 win. Okay, there's the point. 
I'm sorry, there's the four. So on the four, we're going to pay the four and come down. Our come bet is going to move to the four. And now we have two units working. We need to put three units on the come. So one more unit than what we have out working. There's a five. This is interesting because this is not how they did it in the uh, in the video I watched, but we now have five units working and we don't have six units available. I think we do have six units available because we have $40 in winning. So we could put six units, but uh, the video I watched said, you need to make sure you cap this. You don't want to go crazy, but let's go ahead and put six units. So that'd be $60 only because we have $40 in profit. And there's a five. So the 30 on the five will pay us 30. Our 60 in the come will move to the five. We now have $80 working or eight units working. Uh, we do not have nine units to put in the come. So we're going to go ahead and roll without a come bet. And there's the point. So the puck moves off. We now have to roll and establish a point. So it is at this point that we are vulnerable to a seven. Because a seven here, we would lose our 60 and our 20. And we have nothing in the field to make that up. I'm just wondering if in some of the variations, if you wouldn't put a pass line bed out right here. But let's go ahead and roll. Try to avoid the seven. It's a three. No help on the three. We're trying to get a point established. It's a five. That's a great point because the puck moves to the five and our $60 come bet on the five comes down and gets paid. Okay, we have two working units. We need to add a unit or three Let's put $30 in the come. And we're back on this five. The $30 come bet moves to the five. We have $50 working or five units. We have enough money. Let's go ahead and put six units or $60. Oh, I'm sorry. The puck is off. I cannot put $60. I could put $60 in the pass. I know I'm already deviating from the strategy, but I'm just trying to avoid that seven out right here. If the seven comes now, I lose the 50, but I do win the pass line. And this pass line bet, if a number does roll, will be covered by that number. So pass lines and come line bets are very similar. So there's an eight. So the puck moves to the eight. Now this $60 pass line wins on an eight. So I have my three bets out working. Two of them are come bets and one is pass line. So I'm just gonna roll. There's a six, don't have the six now. Let's go ahead and roll. Another six. Yo, 11, that's no help. Hey, there's an eight. So the point hit, the puck will go off. Our $60 pass line will win $60. I can take this down or I, I'll probably leave it up because I'm still vulnerable. These two bets are still vulnerable to a seven. So I'll leave the 60 on the pass line. 
and there's a good reason why. We lose the four and the five, so we lost that $50, but we win the pass line of 60, which is a net of $10. Now I could take this down and establish a point with no vulnerable numbers out there. So there's a nine. So the puck's gonna move to the nine. I will put one unit in the come. And there's a five. This $10 come bet will move to the five. I have $10 working. I have one unit working. I need to put two units in the come. An 11, it wins on seven and 11, the come bet wins. So that gives me $20. I can take sevens and 11s right now all day long. Okay, there's a seven out. We lose on the five, the $10. We win $20 on the come for a net $10. We're at 27 rolls. Let's go one more shooter. Let's get a point. It's a six. One unit in the come. And there's a nine. Ten dollar come bet moves to the nine. Let's put two units in the come. Two craps, we lose the come bet. We need to reestablish that bet. Two units in the come. And there's a five. So that $20 will move to the five. I now have three units working. I need four units in the come. $40 in the come. And there's a nine. We get paid on the nine. That $10 comes down. The 40 goes to the nine. We now have six units in play. I have some winnings. I could try to put seven units in the come, or I can just roll. We're at 32 rolls. Let's go one time, seven units. That's one more than our working units. If I wasn't up, I would probably just roll without a come bet. But that worked out. The $20 on the five wins $20. Our $70 come bet moves to the five. Now I have $110. I have 11 units out. There is no way I'm putting 12 units out here. I am vulnerable to the seven. Let's go ahead and roll. And there's a five. That wins us $70 and that comes down. So this is a contract bet. So even though I've exceeded my 30 rolls, I cannot take that bet down. But what I can do is just not put any more come bets out and just roll, wait for a nine to come out or a seven to come out. So I'll either win $40 or lose $40. I'll still book a profit. Let's go ahead and just finish this roll. There's a six. That's the point. The puck's going to go off, but I still have a contract bet. So I could win it if the seven comes out. There we go. Oops, I'm sorry. That was not a come bet. That was a, a point bet. Okay, so that lost. So that's our third shooter, 37 rolls. Turned out pretty good, $270 profit. But I did very, I went ahead and made a variation and put a pass line bet out there. Only because I rolled this earlier and I got a lot of sevens came out on the come out roll when I had money working and nothing to, uh, to hedge the seven. So, this time it worked out pretty well. So uh, again, 
$270 on the plus side. I think this would be a good one to try um, at a live table. Just walk up to the table and uh, just keep, you know, keep track of your uh, units that are working. All right. Hope everyone has a good rest of the day. Thanks for watching. Thank you.